All right, someone asked me to uh, do a video on my pedal setup now, since I'm since I'm here with uh, in this room. First off, <laughs> it's not looks a lot better from the other side, from the other angle there, but uh, let's see here. All right, we got a zillion freaking cables. So on this side, here's what it does. It goes into this equalizer right here, into this A-B switch, and it A and this this is the B side. I'm gonna go over the B side. Let's see here. I think. Let's see, this is tied in. It's weird that I would have this old cord there, but uh, anyways. So, um, line 6, DL4, that's what it loops through. But what it does is, let's see here. Alright, so, so that goes into the compressor, sustainer, CS3, a flanger, a BF2, chorus, CE2. Super Phaser, PH2, Acoustic Simulator, AC2, and a Digital Delay DD3. And then it goes into <clears throat> this. And then from there, it goes into the amp where it's switchable um, from these channels. Let's see, I don't know if you can't even see the settings on this. Not that it really matters, not that my sound's anything spectacular. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so that's the B side. Typically what I'll do is I'll do a rhythm through this side, depending on what I'm playing through. Um, but typically, yeah, so, uh, so then this is the, uh, the A side. The stuff in the background is is me playing stuff. All right, so I just kind of changed this out. So, all right, so the tuner, and then it goes into the BF2. Wow, that's funny because I have them reversed over over there. See, I don't know how to set up these pedals. Um, this. DM3 delay. This is a digital metalizer MZ2 metal core ML2 and then the digital delay. Then I take it through this holy grail reverb and then it goes into this. But I, like I said, you know, usually, usually I'll play my rhythm stuff through that. Oh yeah. And then this goes up into <clears throat> this basement head. Through this right here. And yeah, I plugged it into two. Let's see. Uh, and then <clears throat> And it goes into uh, it's a 900, and then that one's a vintage, the uh, with the vintage 30s, 1960 vintage. That's not the year; it's a model. Let's see, I uh, just recently put up this box V15 because you know, I just I don't play through this stack at all. And so I figured I'd put something there that I could occasionally play through. So I got the twin reverb right there. And, uh, yeah, so I just set this stuff up here, these uh, monitors. This is kind of the, the stereo of the thing. Let's see, of the place in here, at least. I got... About 10 years ago, I counted. I figured, you know what, I got a lot of speakers. So I figured I'd count 
how many speakers I had. So I was like, okay, there's four, eight, twelve, you know. And I ended up counting like 125 speakers. Just, you know, in the amps, you know, there's two in this twin reverb, there's two in, in this Vox. And, uh, <laughs> man. All right. So, I piled a bunch of my t-shirts here. I need to get hangers. But in this box, there's a snarling dogs. And it's a switch. Mm. Yeah. Unbelievable. Let's see here. Yeah, all the pedals. You've seen seen all those. Let's see. And here. Seven drum sets. It's a nice one. Things are full of symbols. Lighting is not that great. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is kind of the room I keep keep the ones I wanna hold on to for a while. Maybe one of these afternoons I'll get time to uh make videos of all these things. This is the first year these ones came out right here. Let's see. So I think this is an F50. Oh man. This is a Mark IV head in here. 
All right, man. Thanks for checking it out.